Well, Memorial Day is a time for all of us to reflect on how some people have given the ultimate sacrifice for their country. And there's a group that makes sure the loved ones that have been left behind are given the help they need. I was at a group called TAPS yesterday. I want to share what I saw there. Take a look. The program is called TAPS, which stands for Tragedy Assistant Program for Survivors. And the young men and women you see here are family members who've lost a loved one overseas, loved ones who gave the ultimate sacrifice for their country, perhaps in Iraq, perhaps in Afghanistan. I'm here with Chad Johnson. Chad, tell me a little bit about this program. Well, TAPS is, well, this program in particular is for children who have lost loved ones in war, but not only in war, but to maybe a tragic suicide or a tragic accident. Um, but this program is all about helping these kids uh, work through the grieving process that uh, is necessary for them to live uh, fulfilled lives. And these kids come here and they meet with uh, their own peers that have, they share something in common with. And they, they each child here, over uh, 350, almost 380 kids, each one of them has an individual mentor that focuses on that child for three days. Now you have something called circle time where these kids get to share perhaps things they've never shared before. Absolutely. They, they get in circle time and they talk about their loved one that they lost. And oftentimes they'll share things in this group and it'll be things that they've never shared with anyone else before. You know, feelings, thoughts, emotions. And the circle time just allows these kids to really open up and, and work through their emotions in a positive way. Very rewarding, I would imagine, to work with these kids, Chad. Absolutely. I've been doing this for four years, and I, I couldn't imagine doing anything else on Memorial Day weekend. It's just an outstanding experience for me. Um, these kids have really impacted my life in a positive way. I come away from this weekend every year, and I've learned more about myself, and I've just, you know, I've become a better person for working for TAPS. Gives you some sense of what they do. They are there, of course, also for the, uh, the, the, the husbands, the wives, uh, the, the, the moms and the dads who've also lost loved ones, making the ultimate, ultimate sacrifice uh, for their country. Now, one person who's helping this group out is Larry Gatlin, a country music star whose 2010 Gatlin Brothers Taps Celebrity Classic will help to underwrite Taps Cost. Uh, he's here with us here in studio. We should say we are old friends. Hey, buddy. We are both from Odessa, Texas, and That's nobody, right. I hope, will hold that against us. Hail Odessa High School. That's uh, all I can tell you. Mojo. Now, <laughs> let's, uh, let's talk about your association with Taps. How did you get uh, associated with this group, and what are you trying to do to help A out? A friend of mine named Tommy Vickers out in, uh, in Colorado, he's gone to the other side of the river now, but uh, not the Potomac, I mean the big river. He, he told me a year or so ago they had a, uh, a golf tournament out in Denver. And he'd like for me to, you know, me and the boys, uh, brothers, to kind of look at it and see if we might want to pitch in and help him out. And he, he showed us a video, a lady named Lynn Cottrell and her husband, Bo, showed a little 20-minute DVD. And, you know, two minutes into it, I said, we're in. Now, so, you've been over at, at the hotel across over in Arlington where this uh, camp is going on. I have. It's, it's an emotional thing to watch what's going on over It's there. amazing. A friend of mine told me a long time ago, he said, people come across your path for one of two reasons, to heal you or to be healed by you. So I thought, you know, I'll go in there with this vast store of knowledge and wisdom and country songwriter and all that, and I'll really help these kids out. It didn't really work that way. They brought a joy to me and a healing to me and an understanding to me. And uh, uh, Sergeant Major David Tate, uh, a 28-year Marine, gave me this bracelet, his son David Tate. And so I'm going to say a prayer for him. He was killed in, I believe, Afghanistan. So it went a long way to making me realize that some of the little issues and problems, yeah, we've all got them. But when you put them in perspective, it, it healed up my spirit. I'm grateful for it. You know, it. while I have you here, it, it, it seems that we sometimes forget what Memorial Day is supposed to be about. This is being held on Memorial Day weekend, along with a lot of other events here in Washington. We forget that this is a time. It's not for sales down at the mall or a time to go and cook out and, and, and go out to the beach. We get to do all those things because someone paid the ultimate price for our freedom. Right. It's not just another a day off from school if it you know, hadn't fallen on Saturday. Uh, freedom is not free. Go talk to those young people. Look, at, look in their eyes and see what's going on with them. Uh, go to Walter Reed and see if freedom is free. So, uh, like I say, I wish there were no need for taps, but there is, and thank God for uh, Bonnie Carroll and those folks who are doing it. Now, on this Memorial Day weekend, I know you have some thoughts. Grab that, uh, the guitar that you brought there with us. I didn't bring it. You brought it to me. It's okay. your guitar. I know. And, it's and a it's good one, probably too. the best that's ever sounded. Uh, sing us out to commercial. Well, I will. I, this is like the third verse of a song I've written. It says, They have left their wives and babies, marched headlong into hell. 
Some have paid the ultimate price So I could stand right up and tell you How I feel about it And what I know in my heart is true Who are these good people? Americans, that's who